Um, 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 um. All right, so uh, I, I won't be creating a new project, so I'll just work with this project that we've used before registration. Oh, probably. Uh, let's see. Creating a new project, okay? So we'll just work with whatever projects we have already had in mind, okay? So, like, we had this project here that's been here. I haven't it yet, so we just go ahead and use that to demonstrate this so you understand better. Okay, so quickly, uh, the, the, the usual thing, okay, the usual thing, just uh, the usual thing, uh, and we navigate to Saturday, right? That, that, that's the folder there, CD document, um, document, the file, um, sorry, data slash, backslash, Saturday, right? right so, and uh, this project we did not have a virtual environment that's because we had Django installed on my machine and I haven't still deleted it oh, sorry if I go ahead and say pip lists all right so you without activating the environment okay you can see you can see Django here right here right you can see Django right there okay so so I guess I'll not I won't delete it you probably the end of code come just in case you might want to make reference to it someday. Okay. Right, so um, after that, you want to go ahead and activate um, to navigate to the product itself. So the product itself was registration, which is you can go CD, CD registration. Okay, CD registration, registration, and right hand Python manage dot py run server oh, there's, there's a typo error there sorry run server python my okay so it seems it looks that our project hasn't, hasn't crashed you now okay so that's good all right so we want to go ahead and see our project let's see what you want. all right so that is that, that is how it is the login the send up and the rest of them so if i click on login we'll go ahead and i can't remember that password but i think it was admin that was the username there admin sorry admin and then the password was um Right, so we've actually logged in. So that's what we had for that project. Okay? So all these functionalities, remember we worked it and it's worked perfectly well. So I'll go ahead and open that folder in VS Code so we, so we see the code behind all those things. Okay, so we just work with it. Okay, we just push some parts down and work with it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here it is. Here it is now. All right, so. I click on view right so these are the codes behind all those so, okay so I, I believe that we are familiar with, with crude okay so because that's what that code was all about crude creates uh, great read update and delete okay so uh, in today we talk about um, first of all let's start with the media okay the media right so this is Django documentation okay so and this is how this is the required settings, okay, in order to use the media functionality in Django, okay, so we need these settings. So uh, I'll go ahead and show and write that those code out, okay, in the VS code, right? So first of all, um, before you need or before you can use the uh, media, okay, you have to set up certain configuration, right, in the settings file as well as in the base URL file. You need to to, to do certain configurations there okay then after that then at that um after that that's when you can actually use that functionality the media functionality okay because you now but um, the way django works okay once a user up upload files okay now once once to once we want to reference that file django will look at our project folder and look for a folder called media okay and look for a folder called media and then and then go ahead and fetch that file from that folder okay so that file must be called media that folder must be called media okay but django will create that automatically okay django will create that automatically so um the first setting we want to do is in the 
settings.py file, right? So what, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and import the OS, okay? Import OS. So after that, at the but at down your project, okay, right? You can put it anywhere, but normally I prefer putting it um I prefer putting it above this this static URL here in the settings of PY. There's no rule that says that it must be there, okay? I just like putting it there, okay? Because so it that will be doing more more often, okay? So I'll put mine right above there. You guys can put yours at any point in the settings of PY file. Okay, so I put my book that place. Right? So let's, what what you want to do here is to set something similar to this, right? Something similar to this. One. But this one we we will call it. You have to set two parameters: the media root and the media URL, right? The media root and the media URL, right? So first of all, I'll set the media in, in URL, okay? Media URL, right? URL. And then it equals to sorry, it, it, it be a string of with a um, where should Django f find those um, media files? Okay, so so we not we come here and we specify and we say that those files will be found in the media directory. Okay, in the media directory, right? So if this directory is not here, Django will go ahead and create it once a user uploads a file, right? If that if that directory is not there. So the next one, next thing you want to, do, next thing you want to do is the media root. Okay, so we want to, we, we, we want to join the um, our project folder with this, with this media, and with this media folder because since this folder is not an app, okay, this folder is not an app that that will have come up here and then, and then register it. Okay, it's, it, it doesn't, it, it just if a folder within our, our project okay so we want Django to be to be able to reference that folder okay so we have to join what we have to join sorry question yes about the media url can you explain okay the media url all right so so this is uh this media url is similar to this static url right so now Remember, uh, in our HTML, once we say load static, and then we 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 go ahead and then we specify those static files that we wish to load. Remember now. Now, what happens here is that those files are being stored in a folder called static. Uh, we don't have static folder here, we're showing it, right? But you know, but you know what, I'm, what I mean, right? That all those static files are being stored in a folder called static, right? So now, this has been defined already, already because. That's because Django knows that as a web developer, you are you are ninety nine percent of the time, right? You want to render certain static files, right? So this was pre um, pre written, okay, or so as a predefined for us, right? So now what happens is that Django will do what Django will go to a, a folder called static to look for um, to look for um, those static files, okay? But then. That file, that folder is not an app, right? That folder is not an app in, in like, that is not an app within our project. Meaning that we can't come here and say, um, register the static app, okay? It's, it's a folder. So now, in, in, in order for Django to be able to locate those files, we have to let Django know that that file is where it's, it's in the static folder. So any folder within our project, that is known as static. That's where Django will go to, okay, and spread that static URL. Okay, so now once we once you um, once you go to an HTML file, uh, let's say a HTML file like this, an HTML file like this. Let's say um, this one, okay, and then do something like um, do something like link. Uh, uh, it should be a link. Uh, okay, CSS link. Yes, and 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 do something like this, and then go ahead and say something. Uh, let, let's say static. Okay, static, and then then we will say um, CSS slash star dot CSS, right? And then we try to cover this, right? Right. So now, what happens here is that before we do this, this whole folder must have been way in a static folder somewhere in our project, right? So now, once we, once once we specify here that this file has to be a, or must be seen as a static file. What happens that Django does not know where that file is, right? What Django does not what Django knows is that 
want to want to specify that this is a static file, what happens? Django goes to settings and say, okay, this person has said that this file is a static file. Where is that static folder located, right? So now this setting now points Django to where where that static where that static folder is, okay? And then from there, Django will do what will grab get a him that folder alongside with um, alongside with with the many part of this URL. So at this point, what what will, what will happen once we save this to the browser? What we will see once we save this to the browser, what we will see is something like this. And we have a, a, a link to static slash this is dot and slash style dot css. Right. So uh, once we save it to the browser, that's what we will have. Right. So it's it's more like should I say a a a, a pointer, okay? So it's point it's point Django to a certain URL, okay? But in our case is a static folder. In our case here is a static folder, which is this one here. So we are doing the so we are uh, we are doing a similar thing in the media, right? So now we know that once a a user uploads a file, that that file goes to a certain folder called media, right? So we're just telling Django, right? That file, just in case you want to reference that file, right? I want to point at the folder called media, right? And currently we don't have that folder here yet, okay? Because we'll go ahead and create it, okay? So it is the same thing that's happening here, that's happening down there, right? So now. I believe I've answered that question. Yes, we um, right. Excuse so, me, sir. All right, ma. Sir, please. Um, I'm just logging in and I'm seeing this screen. I don't understand if I if I missed something because I don't want to miss. Her. Please, is this the beginning of the class? Yeah, almost the beginning. The beginning. Well, what we just did here, this is our old product, a product that we've used before. So I'm saying that I don't want to create a new product. So I just use the one that we, the old one that we've used before, right? So um, in, in order to, to use the the media functionality in Django, we need two configurations, right? We need one of them is in the settings dot dot by file, and one of them is in the base dot URL. So now this is the first configuration, and we are in the settings dot by file. So, so far, in order to even start any configuration down here in this settings.py file, we, we need this OS module. So, you go ahead and, and you import OS, okay? And then down, uh, down your setting folder, I mean, sorry, file, you will see something like this. Right? Just, just copy it and paste it, but then change it to, to media URL. So, what's the, what's the function of OS? OS is. Uh, OS is a Python module, okay, that it's more like saying you are importing your operating system, right? So that in order for when Django wants to read this this folder, it will read it I am I'm sorry. It's read it uh, from here, right? So it wants a way what what we need now is we want a way uh, of Django seeing this folder because in here we have to create another folder called okay, let, me, let me go ahead and create the folder. We, we want to create a color folder called media, right? Right, because that's where those files will be able to, okay? So we want to, so now we, we want a way where Django can see this folder, right? So now we are saying we want to import our OS model so that, so that um, we can join this folder with the, with the um, product folder itself, okay? Uh, um, we're not really interested in that OS module. What, 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 what we want to use it for is to join this folder with this folder, right? So that Django can go ahead and do what and see that, um, that folder, okay? It's just necessary for the media, right? That way, this one, that, um, that OS there is not that necessary for the static, right? It's just necessary for the media itself, okay? Yeah. Django ways, it must be that way, right? So we, in order to join that folder, we need that OS module, right? So that, so that we can come down here and add one more setting, 
with the OA. So right on top of this, right, right on top of that, we add what we call media roots. So it's a media around the root. Right? And this media root want it to be we, we want it to join this root, right? Like this URL. We want to join this URL with the project folder, okay? So that's where the OS comes in, alright? So now we now say OS dot path, okay? Sorry, right, this should be in lower cases. OS OS dot path, right? So path is a function inside that module, right? And then we say that we want to go ahead and join these two parts, right? So which part are um, which part are we joining? Sorry, I'm saying that. Join these two parts, right? Now, so now which two parts are we joining? You want to join what the base URL, right? The base directory, right? We work with the media folder. That's where that OS comes in here, right? So you want to join this media folder with the base directory, and the base directory here is what this registration folder there, right? That's the base directory there. Okay, so that's, that's the two things we need there in the settings.py file. The media URL and the media root itself, okay? So now, the media URL points to where the media folder. Now, the media root does what joins the curve, the base directory what with that media folder, right? So that's what we need in the settings.py file, right? So the next thing we need again is in the base.url, right? Sorry, it's just the way Django says this thing should be, okay? That's the way I'm going to say right? So, so and what I did here, right, is not here, right? That's because, uh, what is it? That's because Django, right, feels you you have that already, right? So which is here, right? So you could you could look you could look that up, right? So which is here and here, right? So we have so so you need the media root as well as what the media URL. So that Django assumes that you have this already set up in your settings that. PY file, and which we have just done, right? Which we have just done. So next thing is these two. So I'm going to copy this. So, so these two goes to where? These two goes to um. It, this two here goes to the base URL. The base URL. So you go to base URL, which is here. Right. So this this base URL here. So I go ahead and put those information right there above there. And uh, next thing we want to add is this. This part here that says. URL patterns plus and look at them. That's all we need for that. So it's it's covered come from here. URL patterns from there to down, down, down here. Right. So all right. So that's that. That's all we need. So now here it says after you've brought these settings here, this integration there. Now you have your URL patterns, all right? And then your URLs. What you, do is, it, it, what, what you should do is, to, is for you to add this part, right? So I just cut here and come here and do and add it, okay? And I cut it and come there and add it, right? And that is that's and that is what you need. That's the only setup you need to use media functionality, right? But in my case, right? In my case, I don't want I don't only add this directly, okay? Reasons reasons being that. Once I deploy a Django application, I don't make use like I don't want to reference, or should I say I don't want Django to handle my media uploads. Okay, so I use a third-party applications. Okay, to handle this. Okay, but in our case, we could just leave it there, right? But all what 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 we could do is um only use this method in what when we have our debug equals to what true. What what do I mean? When 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 we have this functionality, so so now you see it says security warning. Don't run with the bug turn on in production. Meaning that if I want to deploy this site, okay, I have to turn this this thing to what to false, to false, right? But since I'm still building it, okay, I have to leave it what true, right? So so since this is still development or or work in progress, okay, I will I will only want to. Or I will only want to reference file that have been uh, that have been uploaded to the media folder during this development process. Okay. Once I've deployed it, I don't want to use that anymore. Probably I want to use a third party 
um, app, um, sites, let's say like AWS, okay, it's really recommend, uh, uh, even Django itself recommends that in production you make use of a third party app because even them, they don't even trust the way this thing is saved in, in production, right? But for the development, you can use this method, okay, it works, right? So to be on a safe side, what I can do is, is to write a, a if condition, right? Saying that if I'm in, if the book is equal to true, mm -hmm. I want to do what? Use this, uh, use this method. Else, I'll use whatever uh, method or third party app I want to use, right? But if you don't want to go too far, you can just leave it that way, right? But I will do mine in the way I'll be doing it. So what I can do here, since the settings have been imported down here, what I can be is to grab the value of what the debug, right? So I'm going to write that if settings dot what dot debug, right? Dot debug, right? So that's the debug, right? So which debug, right? This debug here, right? So if settings dot that debug, right? So what I want to do is to use their method. That even if and only if it is in true that that the book is equal to true so what i'll do here is i'll say go ahead and say you are a pattern means plus or equals means that this thing here means you are a pattern equals to real pattern okay plus this start again so I'll just put okay, go ahead and put this out here okay and then come here and paste this right so that's how that's how i would want to do mine right i only want to use this functionality if and only if if and only if and what um in production now once i've posted this side i do not want to use it right once i once i turn on i will when i turn off this turn this to false right django knows that okay i'm no longer to save the media files from here from the folder directory okay so uh, that is that for that so you can you, uh, you could leave it the other way around or you, or you could um leave yours this way if you have any plans of uh, production of sending your sites to, to production all right so this is this way here is it is more preferable okay but the other way works all right so this is more like um repeating myself right so i just take this off and leave it as plus equals right i leave it as plus equals plus equals that and that's that right is there a question with that that that's the only settings we need to use this okay right so first of all what do we want to do do what do we want to do all right let's just go ahead and create a simple home page that that will ask the user to do what so upload a file okay so down here down here the uh, let me break this so i believe there's no question i believe please I believe there is no question. So, all right. So, so down here, uh, then a couple of break, break. Uh, okay. So, down here, I'll just do a simple form where a user has to do what. In, in simple form where a user has to do what. This form will be a post request form. Okay. This form, this form will, will be a post request because the user has to submit it. Right. This user is actually submitting. Right. So. So I uh, want to submit to the same um, the same URL, right? So the same URL. I don't want to specify another URL there. So now what I want to do here is a simple um, input, all right? A simple HTML input that does what that allows the user to upload an image, right? Let, let, let us say image, right? Let us say an image there, all right? So I'm trying to move this. The rest of them, yeah. I believe. An, oh, sorry. An image is or something else. Not, 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 not image. Sorry, but file, right? With the file. All right. So, so this, this is a simple form that will do well, that will just submit uh, this file, right? Once a user uh, does what? Once, a, once a user. All uh, right. So this, is, this, this is a simple form that will do what? That will let you a lot allowed a user to do what to uh, upload his or her profile picture or any file at all right any file at all but in our case here we'll just say okay let me, uh, we could say upload 
your profile picture and then we could say something else like let's uh we could do something like this let's put these things like this and let's go ahead and and upload two things all right let's go ahead and upload two things so that would be your profile picture and this other one would be this other one would be what this other one would be uh, upload your id okay well, that's, i it should still be file okay upload your id i think this one here will still be file so let's call it, let's call this other one so we can grab the value so you call this one id and we call this one let's call this one profile pic okay or picture let's call it picture right so make things easy for us uh, picture right so that's picture this is id right so it should be two uh two of them now so if i fetch this uh, okay we have that up and running upload your picture upload your id there is not that fancy thing but it will do okay to help okay so next thing you want to do is to create a model right so let's assume in our case we create a, a model that 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 will do what that will grab this thing and then save it right so I quickly I'll just create a simple model here. Pretty simple. Okay, so we have book here already. So uh, that's no problem. I just copy this and then I'll just paste it. Sorry. I'll copy this and put it down. Alright, uh, all right. Uh, this one one will be user info. Okay. User info. This one is a before field that Django will create for us automatically. So the first thing one here is profile picture, all right? Profile picture, all right? So this one will be profile picture. Profile picture, all right? And this one will be ID, all right? Identification. You don't need the rest of those things. All right, so we could, um, um, we could as well associate it with what with a user, right? Because the user has to have this thing, right? The user must have it. So you could say the user or whoever wants to own it would would be a model dot one to one, right? Because we need a we need we need a situation where a user can only have one profile picture and one ID. So we and share this with the user and then we we'll go ahead and first of all we need that user down here right we need that user so we we'll fire from Django but country you don't know where these things are it's okay you don't browse it there's no law that says you cannot browse it just us dot models import sorry import uh user for user right so we want to associate this thing with the user so and then we want to delete right um we want to say on delete that means once it once it once this, this thing is being deleted we want a way once a user is being deleted we want his user info right? okay to delete as well okay so that's the odd date there all right so this one this one here will not be a, a, a chart field, but this one here would be an image field, right? Django has what we call an image field. So it models dot image field, right? So what we can do is we can also specify an option called upload to, right? Upload, upload to. Okay, mean that once a user uploads this thing, where do you want to be? Where do you want it to be to be saved? So here I will say upload. In my case, and um, I want it to, to be set in profile pictures, right? Profile pictures, okay. Profile pictures. But that's where I want this one to be saved, right? So same thing with other one, but difference is that this other one won't be an image field. This one one will, will, will be a file field, right? A file field. So in this case, this should be a file field. Models dot file. File field, right? So there it is. File field. Okay, I want to upload this one to IDs. Okay, I want to upload it to IDs. ID, right? So up until now, we don't have any 
Question. If it's, why does profile picture have S? Why are you uploading it? I mean, this one? Yes. Okay, this one, this thing is just like a, a directory within our oh. media folder. Okay, okay, so I'm just saying that once Hazer publishes this, what the find it in this folder there. Right, so this, no, this folder is there yet, so I'll just go ahead and put a folder here for that. Uh, I guess we'll have it. All right, so copy this um come here and say create a new folder and what about it should be upload right it should be upload okay and then within that within the upload i want to create a new folder called proper pictures right and also within the upload i want to create a new folder called what id a new folder called id right so, so now so now we have we have the id we have a proper Picture, right so so that that's that's to say so that we can know um which one is proper picture and which one is the user id okay so uh in here i want to return something i want to return something an f string that says um a particular user's profile um, user info so we could say user the uh, username okay and i believe you know how we get that so we know how we get that. So it's self dot user dot username, right? So self dot this user, then from this user, I know what I grab that user username. So that should be whatever username is there, uh, user information. Okay, that's what I want to return. Was this thing is really safe. All right. <coughs> so that's that for our models. So you go ahead and you save this and then we do what? We do what? We have an, an error somewhere. Let's see what's what the error. All right, Hello, so Savior. Where's question? Oh. Yeah. Some people are trying to get to the meeting. They said you should please allow them in. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I do not see anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, please, I'm going to tell that I should try joining again. I can't find them anyway. Then that try joining again, please. I can't find them anyway. Please tell them that they should go ahead and join again, please. Thank you. Come, come, come. All right, so um, where are we? All right, so that is that for that. So now, clearly, if you look at our terminal here, we have a problem that says uh, that our profile picture that we cannot use the image field because Pilo is not installed okay so now remember what when we set up our project folder i thought that we do what that we should install pillow okay that we should install pillow right so that, that that's because i knew that somewhere somewhere somehow that we, that we will need to do what upload pictures or users will need to upload stops from their machine so in order to use this field the image field this field here in order to use this field you have to do what you have to install pillow so i believe that by now we all have pillow installed but i'll go ahead and install my new thing um let's see let's see and i'll do pick install pick install no, that's wrong pick install oh, that's still wrong pick install pillow now oh, okay. pick install pillow right and uh, that's that all right so in order to use this field we need what we need the pillow so i've installed mine quickly so i've said pip install pillow and that is that so if i go ahead and run my environment again i don't have there should be no problem that says what uh where is this one please and then, uh, 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 
Sorry, give me a, give me a second. There's, there's, a, there's a problem with our ID. Oh, 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 sorry. So, so we can't use this. So I could say identification. Sorry, we can't use that. That's a, that's, that's a, that's a dangle field, okay? That's a dangle field, so you can't use that. So you could say identification, right? Instead of ID, identification. So that should solve the problem, right? So problem solved. So we go ahead and do what make migrations and then send it away to our database. So we do Python manage the py make migrations. Okay? Make migrations and then migrate. And then migrate. Okay. I problems. That's as we excuse me, sir. Question. So, um, please, sorry, I'm, I'm still um, in transit. That's why there's a lot of background noise. But I saw you download Pillow, like install Pillow. What if your project yes. already has Pillow? Do you have is to? It, no. no, no, you don't have to install it again. Once a project has Pillow, you don't have to But if you try running the command, it, it will tell you that the requirement has been satisfied already. So, it will install. Let's say if your project has pillow, then don't need to copy and turn it back again. Right, so that is that. So if we can go ahead and, re and register this real quick in our database if you want. So, right, so come here and say user info, okay? And then copy this, um, paste it down there. User info and is that right so let's go ahead and do this thing right let's go ahead and do what submit and then save to the, to the database and see if we can actually do what grab those data and save it away to our database okay so uh I'll go straight to what so this thing here and click on anything here uh sorry i don't have wonderful images that's wonderful so if you click on upload nothing should happen i believe but nothing should actually happen. Okay. Uh, what do we say? More book is already oh. Let me start one thing about auto save. Just save automatically. Even if you're trying to make correction, just save. Right, so submit this thing again and oh, sorry. One more thing there. One more thing. The CR plus site request for you to be missed it. Where are you index? So you need this thing up there. Okay. Cross site request for the okay. Right, cross site request for the right, well, but that, that so if you try submitting this again. Right. Refresh. Oh no. Come on. All right, so we try click on this anyone here, um, click on this one, then click open and uh, upload. Okay, so something happened, right? That that's because we haven't actually present the view, but everything is working perfectly fine. All right, our site is up and running; it does not break. Nothing is wrong with it. Okay, so in our home view, right? So because that's where we want we want to submit this thing to the same view. So we want to submit this thing to the same view. Okay. So because we want to submit this thing to the same view, remember how that, that has been done, right? So we do what we check. That was if request dot method is what is equal to approach request. Okay? What's the word approach request? Okay. You, put, you didn't put the request dot method. Oh, method. Right, so request, it's a if request dot method is equal to post, then that. Uh, okay, then we grab it and then we save it to the database. So, but, but, but before that, right, the way HTML works, HTML is a very funny language on its own, right? So, it's a very funny markup language, right? So, now um, in HTML, right, and uh, when, when you want to get files from a user, either an image file, a music file, a video, whatever file, file that user has to upload that file from his machine to your server, you need one more op, um, option with um, with this form, right? And that is the end type. You need this end type, and then you go ahead and you pick multi-part slash form data. Okay, okay, so now, 
what happens here that they just simply parcel or shall i say package or bundle this um this input here right these images here these files here to where to your server if not if you don't put that you might actually think that you're actually passing that data but truth is that you haven't actually passed that data okay so probably you can just get like a, a you could say you could uh, grab the name and then save it what 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 is what is actually happening there that's like the name of that um, of that file right so let's assume in our case um, in our case here, this file, let's say we choose this file, right? This file name here is what knn.data.png, I, I believe, right? Now, once, it, once I forget to put this, what happens that what I will grab or what I will get had, had, had the server side would be the name of that file, knn.png, right? But and you feel that you've actually gotten that file, but it's, but it's the file name, okay? It's just the file name, okay? So to actually get that file itself, to, 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 to actually get that file itself, what do we do? What do we do? You do what? You will specify that, you specify this, any type, right? Multipath slash form data. This is only necessary if you're using this field, the file, the file input type, right? So this is when you, this is when you actually need this, right? So if, with, uh, if, if you're not using this, then there's no point of putting this, right? So in our case, we need that. So we need that right there. So now these files are not just like in the, the normal files, right? It's, it, it's not just like a name or should I say a, a text or should I say number or something like that. It's, 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 it's actually a file, right? An image file, right? So uh, to get that file, we use a request.files, right? That file would be passed in a method called request.files. And I'll show you what that means, right? So now, here I can check for two things, right? I can check for if a request if is equals to post, and also if a request is equal to what? Request the method. The method. What is equals to what? Files, right? Files. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Because that is. Then. Sorry, I'm having to put it in there. All right. Then. Then I can do what I can I can now go ahead and, and do what grab those data, right? And in our case, what do we do? We do this to grab a data. We copy and paste this for now. So for this, this will be the first one will be what a proper picture. Okay. What should I say? Picture. Picture. And the next one would be what? Next one would be identification. We could just use ID for now. Since this we just use ID or we just use like, let's go ahead and make this make it of the ID. So let's use cap capital ID, right? So, so it doesn't conflict, right? So now with that, we can, but here, what's the difference now? What's the difference between this data and this other data that you wish to get, right? The difference is that this time around, we'll be getting what we'll, we'll be doing a request.files. Request.files. Dot get. Okay. And then you get that file name. So similar to this one down there. Similar to that one down there. Okay. Yeah. So similar to that one down here. So it will be the same thing here. You go ahead and paste this here. And then go ahead and do what and grab that file. You only use request the files if you're doing what if you're actually getting what if you're actually getting a file, right? But if let's say a, a strings of of let's say a name or a or age, you don't actually need that. Just and those and those data will be passed through the request dot post method, right? But this one is a file, so it will be passed through the request dot file method in our case here. That's because we specify here that. There are also data coming here, and those data will be in in a file format, okay? Not a normal, not the normal text inputs out or thereabouts. The next thing you want to do, next thing you want to do is to go ahead and grab and then we save. So let let's be sure that we are actually that this thing is actually working. So what I will do here is I'll go ahead and print this out. Right, so if I say, sorry, one thing, one thing, one thing. 
Okay, picture and ID. So let's go ahead and put picture and ID in there. So this one, you get picture. And we have ID. So I'll grab ID here. And then let's say, let's go ahead and print this. It's something like let's say we, or let's say works for instance, right? To, to be sure that this thing has worked up to that point, right? So let's give it another trial and let's see. So I'll go I refresh this page. Uh, no, cancel. Um, go back, refresh. So I'll grab this one. Um, grab another one, and then we click on upload and let's see if I'm just showing in that. Uh, it seems nothing is showing, right? Nothing is showing. Right, so let's see what's happening here. Let's see what's been happening here. Let me go ahead and remove this for now. Yeah, let's try that again. Let's see. Alright. So it seems it has worked. Let me move that. So if look at that, right? So I don't think <laughs> I think we're making a mistake here. So okay, I don't think there's a a request method that is not as felt. So sorry, sorry about that. That's sorry for that confusion. So I, I don't think that there's a request method that is known as files, right? If there is, I'm yet to know, okay? There is, I'm yet to know. All right, so so that has actually worked. So if we go ahead and print the picture, let's see what we have in our terminal. Uh, print the picture and see what we have in our terminal. So let's go ahead and refresh this again. And, um, and we have knn.png, right? So everything is working perfectly fine. All right, so let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and save, right? Let's go ahead and save. So in order to save, we need what we need our model here called user word, uh, user info. Okay. Now to save, we do, then we do a new info, right? New info equals to sorry, equals to user info, and then what we need here, we need theme. Three required fields. One of them is the user. Okay. Well, what is the user field? The other one is what the picture field, I believe. The picture field. Oh, proper picture field and then identification field. So that's the three required field that we need there. The next thing is the picture field. And next one is identification. Identification. Right. Okay, so now the user of this is actually going to be what the current logged in user, right? Because if you're not logging, you cannot, or if you're not being sent in, right? You cannot, you cannot upload a file, right? So in order to upload a file, you have to be logged in. So because you are logged in, we can grab the current logged in user from where from the request method, from this request method. So what we can do is we can come here and say logged in user, logged in um, user. It's equals to what the request the user, right? That this this will grab what the current logged in user. So now I can do what assign this, assign this user to the to this one, assign picture to what the proper picture, right? The proper picture, that one, and then assign identification to what uh, to this. Right, so after that, we do what we go ahead and save. So we say new info or save, right? Or save problem solved. Right, so let's go ahead and run it and let's see how this works. After okay, so after saving, what do you want to do? You want to go ahead and return to the same page. So we will, we will go ahead and return and do what, and then we redirect to what to the same page, right? Uh, let's see. All right, so um, uh, we want to go ahead and return and redirect to um, 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 to this home page here. So this home page. So this should go to home or home. All right. 
Okay, okay, so now let's go ahead and try this out and let's see if it actually work well. Right, so I refresh this page, that's something to do. Go back, refresh the page, refresh the page. Our uh, server is handy. All right, refresh the page, okay. So uh, for the picture, I'll pick the KNN1, and then for the ID, I'll pick the linear, linear word, right? And then I'll click on upload. Uh, it just we're gonna back to here. So now let's see if that was, if that was actually saved in our, in, our, in our database. So I'll copy this and then go to the admin page and let's see if that was saved. Admin. Okay, sorry. One slash there. Admin. User infos. And uh, then we have a new user info. Now, if if, if you click on this, currently, uh, if you look at the bottom of my left corner right you can see where that where that um uh, where that file is currently okay so now those settings have been able to have led django right to know what to reference that folder from where from the media folder right? sorry to reference that files those files from where from the media file if you look at uh can down here somewhere here if i highlight it again you will see it that says a uh, uh, local um Local host slash media slash Pablo slash profile picture slash KNN one dot png, right? So that is that. So that has been saved to our database. And even if we go to where we go to that folder, the media folder, we could now have new files in there, right? So that that file that that we uploaded, right? That that file that that we uploaded, right? In the ID, and there's another one here that's in the KNN, right? So that's the KNN one that we uploaded, all right? So that is that. So it's, everything is working well. So that's how you grab those stops and then you know what you save it to a database so you might be wondering all right so now, now it has been saved how do i grab it do i do well how do i actually grab this stuff like how do i fetch that image right so um i'll show you, I'll show you that real quick so um in the in the let's let, let, let's go ahead because in, in order to do what to pass to Get that data. You have to pass it away to a template. Okay, to the template. So um, if I come here and say uh, user info, right? User info. Let's come here. That's outside. I want to do this outside the post method, right? User info, right? I want to pass this thing to a dictionary, right? User info. And I know what I want to. Uh, Get a user info at match. I want to get a user info that match the current logged in user. So I will say user info dot object dot get. So what, what I want to get the one that has the ID as equals to one. So which is going to be equals to one because that's the only one we have there, right? That's the only one we have there. So I want to go ahead and do a pass this thing into a dictionary and then pass it to to what to uh, to our front end, okay? So I just copy this and paste real quick. Uh, user info copy. You want to reference it as user as user info once we get there, and then paste this one as well. So I'm go ahead and do what uh, pass it down here as context. Okay, that's that. So if I go to our home page and I refresh this, it sh should not show anything yet. So if I refresh this, nothing is showing, right? So let's, let's make it show, right? Let's make it show in our home page. So I'll come down here. So um, after the form, right? After the form, I'll go ahead and put multiple breaks, multiple breaks, multiple breaks, all right? So, so I want to do what I want to, I am to do what to show this image, right? I, I want to show this image, okay? So, um. Remember, one of, one of that is what an image file, right? So now remember, in HTML, to show an image, what well, you want the image tag, the IMG tag, right? IMG tag, right? So in this case, I'll just cut this out. I'll just say I need this one to be a width of, uh, this is basic HTML, okay? So a width of 50 and then a height of 50. So I believe that this will be done automatically by the by the front end guy. So what you do is to pass this URL right to down here. So now, so now this source now now does what this source now now refers to what to 
where is that image, right? So you could come here and say media, or you just put this out, all right? You just say come here and say media slash upload slash profile picture slash and then that image, okay? But that is more like a static way, okay? It's, and user can change that image at any point in time, okay? So now to make it more dynamic, okay, since it, since this thing is being saved in, in our database, so we don't have to bother ourselves, we could just do what? We just grab the user info and then just do what? We display the image, okay? Uh, I believe it was profile pictures, I believe. Uh, so you could say user info dot what? Dot profile picture, okay? The profile picture and uh, if I go to index the profile picture and uh, if I press this again so profile picture dot image okay that image so if if I go ahead and refresh this this shouldn't work it shouldn't show okay so nothing still shows okay even if I have heard it it doesn't have nothing so but but we have a box here right but it's showing a broken image meaning that that image has not been found okay have not been found so this this is an image or should i say a file right so now once we set up like user info dot profile picture okay what happens is it just shows like the name of that picture so it, in instance like in our case then this should be like um how should i say it, it will just show um, the, this link here right this link here let's let's let me show you the link this is what is 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 currently showing there Upload slash profile picture slash kn one dot png right but that directory is not complete right that's why we are having that uh, that broken image there so now to grab that image itself this is a file right so you don't want to do this for text or numbers just for files so to grab where that file is you add a new thing called url dot url so this will not do what you will grab the location of where what of where that file is right so it so it says we use that info dot what dot the profile picture dot what the URL. That's where they will do what we'll grab wherever that picture is and then do what and then we'll put it for us. So if I come back and I refresh this, so we have it is turning where that where it's turning. And then change this to hundred. Not really good this one thing. Hundred and if I refresh this fresh. Right, so we have a picture there, right there. Right, so that picture there is showing, right? Okay, and it's if, and it's dynamic, meaning that I can come here and change it, right? Okay, I can come here and then choose another thing. Right? I don't have to just this. Okay. All right, so let's put this one. All right, so and save this, right? And then if I refresh this again, let me see it save and it's changed. Okay, so we see how easy and wonderful that is it okay so so with that we, we we don't need to bother about where that picture is okay so with this 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 thing here we just do what we just grab the url of that picture okay and if i go back to my media we should have two two pictures there now in the private picture right so that's the first this is the first one we uploaded and this is the second one we do what we just uploaded right so the other one is what is id okay in normal sense or in in some cases right in some cases an id is likely to be okay yeah it's going to be an image so let's go ahead and do what let's go ahead and print the id as well so if i copy this the same thing is going to be the same thing right and press this down there okay it's not this uh this one would be identification dot url right identification identification and then Identification, identification dot URL. Okay, so let's go and refresh and let's see. So that is that for the identification dot um, URL. Okay, identification dot URL. So that is that for media upload. Any question? So we see how payment looks like.